Welcome back. We are on sand. This. This is the awaited return of uh, uh, Evil West. That's it. I didn't forget. You forgot. Somehow you transferred that to me here in the past. So, <clears throat> we made it back to what is apparently a mansion that has an airship, a blimp above it. Okay. Home sweet home. It's gonna be a long day. Mr. Rent here? At ease, boys. My father in his office? He is. How did it go? Did you get that big fangster you were after? Oh boy, howdy. F is not interact. That button is... He looks a little like a monkey. Graveners with you. He sends his regards. Well, Kong says his as well. He's afraid to talk about retirement again. I don't believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? <sighs> this isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress. Great change. Today's presentation is of critical importance to the family. After which... Edgar is family. After which... I expect you to step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, Director, I am a field agent, not a paper pusher. You're a rentier. <sighs> Why must you always make me spoon feed these things to you, Jesse? There are bigger things at work here than running around in caves slaying beasts. I do believe someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. And send someone in here to clean up this mess. Mr. Rendier, Agent Feathers is waiting for you in the lobby. Wow. Should have seen that priest armed with holy water crosses and whatnot. And that tick. He was scared stiff. Yeah. Would have loved to have seen his face when you walked Officially, they moment. called it a cholera <laughs> epidemic, but truth was they were dealing with a terrible outbreak of amateur necromancy. The entire institute was engaged in the hunt. Tree fair here cost me an arm and a leg. Sure hope it's worth it. Veil of Secrets. Unexplained creature sightings in Richmond, California, June 1894. There's another thing on the bookshelf behind me, but first... You're just in time. The presentation should be starting soon. What do you got for me this time? to buy weapon upgrades. Use C and C to navigate between the... What if I... Oh, that's literally... I, that is a terrible layout. Or... Uh, what's the word? Keybind. Why is it Z and C and not A and D? It's just such a weird... Weird... Keybind for that. Aimed weapon per... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is this? Free bullet. Hitting a weak spot now restores a bullet spent on it. Okay. We've got mid-air shot. An enemy can be shot right after becoming airborne with a single revolver bullet for increased damage. 
The effect can be repeated with the right timing as long as the enemy stays in midair. It does not work with the fanny action. And this one is for agent tools like healing. Do not disturb. Healing is now followed up with a short five round and five second invulnerability. Hmm. That and then we can't get the one foot. Huh. I was expecting we'd be able to. I'll get the one with the rifle next. I can also get the upgrades, apparently, at any point in time by simply pressing M. RRI files? Ah, the Rentier Institute. Allow me to convey on behalf of the President of the United States, Benjamin Harrison, my warmest congratulations on Rentier's in... Yeah, it's Rent Rentier's Institute. 75th anniversary. Opening the 50th branch of the Institute, which coincides with the celebration, is a true mark of importance that is this fine institution has in our great country. I am more than confident that Director Rentier's visionary leadership will continue to protect our citizens from any supernatural forces we can encounter. Yours truly, Secretary of War, Stephen Benton Elkins. Oh, P.S. We are going to attend the reception together with DC's Rentier Institute Outpost Director, Mr. Edward Jones. I hope you don't find letting him leave his post for this well-deserved celebration. Mr. Rentier, you remember me? From my first year of cadet training, and I'm the shortest one of the bunch. Well, the very next year, I grew like a weed. Had to buy all new pants. And the answer to your question, apparently, since I can't interact with you, is no. Shooting Gravener by the stables. He ain't coming in. I heard Gravener's finally retired. Father in all his directorial glory. The artist who painted the portrait, what was his name? Philemon Cole? He was so curious about those gauntlets. Word came back that he talked about them in a local pub and father had to give him a very stern talking to. Scared the living piss out of him. Father was a very private person. I'm surprised he ever consented to even pose for this portrait. You can see by the look in his eyes he wasn't too happy about it. Good to see you back, sir. Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, if you'll take your seats. And, uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Urentia Institute performs, defending our great country from monsters of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty, but that's another conversation. <laughs> yes, quite. Well, uh, <clears throat> as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all for gathering here tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the Sanguisuja's spread have too often been baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rentier, we've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have affectionately named the Zapper. Not exactly an elegant name, but it does the trick. When triggered, the Zapper sends out an electrical impulse that shatters any nearby Sanguizoon glamours forthwith, eliminating what is not and leaving only what is. 
Once finished, these new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste, allowing us to sweep our respective territories for glamoured nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise us. Unless they do something like this, I guess. Innovative device created within the RI to disrupt the vampiric illusions. Worn on the left hand and utilized as a support tool in combat thanks to its capabilities to discharge and create an electrical arc on demand. Press the awkward button Q for block. Okay. Zapper block. Zapper can electrocute enemies. Press Q to block when an enemy is attacking you. In order to electrocute them and open them for an E combo. Okay. Okay, so it's basically got parry timing. Oh, crap. I tried to dodge with the control button, which is... Ow. You okay, buddy? Not now. Achievement unlocked. Pointless violence. Hmm. Ugh. Okay, so what are we looking at? Zapper block, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't see anything we can unlock. We don't have any points for anything either. Ugh. Well, that was a mild waste of time. Jesus Christ. Oh, they can bring up one piece. Now, I... Zapper's electrical... Zapper's electrical arc can pull enemies marked by the icon inside their HP indicator. Hold Q and S? How am I supposed... That is a terrible combination of buttons. To pull the enemy and automatically electrocute That is such a bad combination of buttons. That's not great. It really isn't.
and I'm still not certain I need to be holding the space bar once we start the swing with those interactions. Of course there's someone here to party. We're not going to like this, are we? Oh, they're actually... Dang it. Say that pull is mighty handy. I died before I got hit. What hit me? Well. Down here. There's something else here. As awkward as the button combination is, it's not too bad when you need to be sitting still anyway to actually use that. Well, I understand what happened now. where the bugs were here. Good lord. This is going to be rough. But it's pretty difficult to go back and forth between using the... electrical... Thank you. We 
difficult to go back and forth between the electric pull and the actual dodge button, which is on space. Now, if I moved it to F, also keep in mind that the space button is used to interact with things. If I swapped it to F, it might be easier, but F is used for something, apparently. And whatever it is, it isn't unlocked yet. Where am I supposed to be going now? We're headed this way. Okay, so I only tapped the space bar. Well, technically, I held it for like a, a split second, and then I released it immediately. So there's no need to be worried about possibly dropping yes, to your death. Christ. Where's my father? Still kicking ass. Last time I saw him. The old fool thinks he's still in the field. Listen, he wants us to destroy the archives before these assholes get their hands on it. You get to it, and I'll find Harold's pampered ass. Meet me out in front. Never thought I'd have to blow up my own house. Please, help me! Christ, what a massacre. I'm gonna find who did this and tear them a new asshole. That was a reasonable thing. See, I could kill the guy right here. But of course, they won't let me have any fun. So, we'll do this the. Why didn't they tell me about this sooner? The Zapper Dash. The Zapper's electrical arc can be used to dash towards the enemy. Obviously, you hold the Q and W button to snap onto the enemy's position and electrocute it. So clunky. Not entirely sure what I got hit by there. I was curious to test out whether the electric dash would... Crap. Well, that's not a good idea.
That is really annoying. Yeah, so the electric dash does zap anything in between you and the target. Presuming it can't be interacted with. But this is hard mode, so what do you expect? Shut your ugly traps! Pretty sure I've seen this guy in Marvel Comics. He let the Brits take him captive. Would love to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. Zapper or gotta destroy this place before the break into the archives. Jesus, gotta get out of here. It's gonna blow. What? God, thank you. I'm about to get sniped while I'm trying to deal with these guys. Really? Apparently, while you're dashing, you're actually invincible. What? Oh. Figured I'd be going through this door. What's this? Nothing stands between me and my money. Uh, I don't think this... 
Oh, we actually have to... Yeah. <laughs> Finding out that you're invincible between the dashes is actually going to come in handy. Regularly, in fact. Now to find my father. But first... around with the perks for this, are they? Uh, an electric perk is available. Spend a perk point to activate it. Its use consumes energy in return for more powerful effects and larger damage output. Okay. So, what we've got here that they apparently want us to pick up is the Quake Punch, which requires battery, obviously. Hold V to jump forward and smash the ground with a damaging blast. Now just press V. Hold V. Nearby enemies take higher damage and are knocked down. Use your movement to adjust the direction of the attack. Blasting impression. Well, that's that. Ah. Killing a mid-air enemy has a 100% chance of dropping the energy pickup. Chaining the next melee combo attack right when the previous one, that's for that. I should do that one, but I don't think that works with the E combo. Which is what we're going to be taking advantage of. They really want us to get this. Energy and Quake Punch. Hold V for an area of effect attack, which consumes energy. Gather energy by dealing melee attacks and performing the finishers. Okay. Thank it. I'm holding W and then pressing Q. guy was dead. That's why I could follow it up with the dash. Oh, it's going to take some time for me to get my head wrapped around. He came from over here, didn't he? Energy pickup. going to take a bit to wrap my head around the E combo and then the... I mean, this is literally just a shooting gallery, but they won't even allow it. Thank it. 
Dang, I couldn't turn him around. Dang it. That time we didn't get too bullied. Oh, I can't even go up there. Okay. Why would I go over? I got this. Don't be cross with me, Father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of these savages. You not do that, you fleshy toad! You nearly hit him. I 
if it weren't for that old wound. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Don't get old, son. Yeah, yeah, never get married. Now stop blabbing. You're going to be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop. Stop? We need to get the fuck out of here. We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we head to Calico. wife could blow this defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher ground. And that's where the sun will hit first. I'll get the horses and we'll stand our ground up there. The Rentier. You know, I could have sworn his father had said Rentier when we first met him. But then everyone else is saying Rentier. And frankly, I no longer care. The Boomstick. A heavy hitting sawed off shotgun ideal for close combat and capable of dealing damage to multiple opponents. Use it with F when not on cooldown. I'm going to need to save those. Oh, great.
Ow! be bashing into this guy. Shielded enemy. The damage it eventually break the enemy shield. Hit it with the gauntless punches or the boom stick, which is significantly more effective. Alternatively, the enemy's back is vulnerable to ranged attacks. How'd he lose his shield already? Ow! I can't dash to this guy? Yeah, I saw that one coming. What if... No, the boomstick takes too long to activate. Really? Over here, bud. Charge me, bud. Beautiful.
Ow. That is actually really annoying. I saw an opening and I went for it. I was biding my time until the shotgun came off cooldown. Problem is I'm trying to get out of the way of that before it lands rather than just trying to dodge the damage it deals. So I guess we can change tack and go with that instead. Ooh, I timed it poorly. Problem. The problem with trying to dodge the damage it deals is that I see it coming and I react. But then I remember that I'm trying to dodge the damage rather than the animation of its windup. And as you saw, we end up doing the dash instead of the... Well, instead of nothing. And then I can't tie that into the dodge. I... Yep, can't do that. From what it looks like, the damage is all focused forward, so I could die dodge behind him. But it still may do an AoE around him. And the only way to find out...
I'm going to be honest, that took a lot longer than it had any right to. I will say I was testing out some theories that would probably help me avoid making mistakes in the future that would result in prolonging fights, whether it's a boss fight or just a simple ambush. I learned quite a bit here. Like for the fact that, like for example, large enemies can't just be kicked and interrupted whenever you want. I, don't, I did forget to test whether or not I could kick the boss out of its its AOE attack, but the only time I could actually interrupt this boss was when I used the sawed off. And I didn't, frankly, I didn't even use the shotgun that often. As you saw here, I mostly spent my time actually punching the shield as opposed to simply using the shotgun to get through it almost immediately. But that's because the shotgun itself takes forever to, let's say, cool down. If I can get a boost to the cooldown speed for that, that is going to be very valuable in the future. Oh, and by the way, I did I did learn that you can in fact use well, that AoE attack I was just about to do to damage the shield, and it looked like it did quite a bit of good damage. Wasted the shotgun. That's going to take some getting used to. Oh, they want me to go back down there. That's fine, I could do that. No, not with those three there, and then another one there. No, I'd rather not. So from the looks of things, I'm just supposed to go up here. Let's get all of these guys nice and gathered up. I'm pressing B. For some reason, holding V after doing that does not trigger an AoE attack. <laughs> I don't hate it. That's free XP as far as I'm concerned. 
It did not occur to me to turn down the game audio before Out of we lightning? started recording. Good thing we still got a big shiny ace up our sleeve. I said it before a long time ago in other videos. Christ. I don't think he's breathing. Calico, it's around the corner. There's a doctor there. I usually turn the game audio down by about half so that it's easier to edit and I don't have to turn things down. It's... Ah, so that's who she is. Doc, we or need what help. Is. Lewis, protocol Epsilon. Sit down and roll up your sleeve. We will save your father, Mr. Rentier. engineer Virgil Virgil only it's an honor to finally meet you in the flesh <laughs> sir your gauntlet is a thing of beauty only a genius could I need that fixed yesterday I'll need a bigger lab if I'm gonna solve the mysteries of time travel sir I mean how are we doing arrow needs a scapegoat he won't leave without someone to blame for that fiasco Pissed off little Highborn looking for her maker's head? No one could have predicted that. I don't think she did all that for just Ivano. We're missing something. I bet my last buck we'll heal more from this Felicity tick pretty soon. I'm gonna check if Amelia needs some backup with Harrow. Who do I have to bend over this bar and indiscreetly fuck to get some coffee around here? What a day. See you in the briefing room. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us today. I spent probably around 30 minutes getting through that boss fight, mostly because I was... It wasn't all testing that resulted in me getting killed and having to start over. You won't be forced to sit and watch as I fail through all of my little experiments against the boss, but I will include some of the more interesting moments as well as the first few deaths in which I was actually speaking and then from there on it was just me focused on testing some theories out and mostly getting wiped for it. Nevertheless I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and everything you've seen here. It All in all I had fun. Every now and then it felt like I was getting killed or hit by something I shouldn't have been and that sucks, but for the most part, it felt like it, any time that I messed up or any time that I took damage or got killed, it was my own fault. I could have done something better and you... Wait, the shotgun has a little bar on it. I'm guessing if you're... It's not that difficult for me to actually look at the UI and just sneak a peek at the shotgun's icon and see if it's charged yet. But that they have a visual indicator on the character himself is actually pretty good. Anyway. We will have another episode up on Wednesday. So, I hope you guys are looking... For well, nope, nope, nope. This is in the first time slot, so this goes up. There will be another... No, this goes up on Tuesday so for you guys there will be another episode on Thursday and I hope you're looking forward to it I can't wait to get back to it and uh, having to relearn the, the buttons and how to actually play the game and so with all that said we will see you <laughs>
next time. We'll see.